Hello, students. Until recently, most of the music we have studied has been written in symmetrical meters, or meters where the beats are isochronous or spaced evenly. The meters 4 4, 3 2, 6 8, and 9 16 all fall into this category. Recall that we can also describe meters based on how many divisions divide each beat. 4 4 and 3 2 are simple meters because each beat has two divisions, and 6 8 and 9 16 are compound meters because each beat has three divisions. Today, however, we are going to discuss asymmetrical meters, meters whose beats are not isochronous. You've probably encountered a few common asymmetrical meters before, such as 5-4, 5-8, and 7-8. Let's take a closer look at how these meters work. When examining a piece of music in an asymmetrical meter, it is important to decipher how the meter's divisions are grouped in order to figure out where the beats lie. For example, the 5 eighth notes in 5-8 are often grouped in either a 2 plus 3 pattern or a 3 plus 2 pattern. Generally, a composer's notation will reflect the beat pattern in each measure. Notice how, in this excerpt, the eighth note divisions are beamed together within their respective beats, just as we would expect in symmetrical meters. Since asymmetrical meters contain beats with different numbers of divisions, we won't label them as simple or compound. Sometimes, meters that we expect to be symmetrical can be divided in asymmetrical ways. For example, although we generally assume that 9-8 consists of three dotted quarter note beats, it can also be divided into other combinations, such as in this Bartok excerpt, which has a grouping of 4 plus 2 plus 3. When meters are asymmetrically divided for extended periods of time, composers sometimes show the groupings directly in the meter signature, such as in this excerpt from Bartok's Six Dances on Bulgarian Rhythm. Here are a few other examples of music in asymmetrical meters from a variety of styles that you may enjoy listening to. Happy listening! Yeah.